the Linux kernel uses a distributed version control system called Git, which was actually created by the same person who made Linux called Linus Torvalds in 2005 specifically for the Linux kernel development. Git.kernel.org is the official repository for the Linux kernel source. It uses a hierarchical structure with multiple repositories. This is the main repository maintained by Linus Torvald. This is for the stable kernel releases and this last one is for testing upcoming changes. The development process follows a pull request model. Developers work on their own forks or branches. They submit patches via mailing list. Maintainers review and apply these patches. Linus Torvald pulls changes from trusted lineants into the main repository. The system allows for a highly distributed and collaborative development process, which is crucial for the project as large as complex as Linux kernel. If you have ever used Arch, by the way, then you know their source code is on GitLab, not on GitHub. So why so many Linux projects use GitLab over GitHub? Well, there could be multiple reasons like GitLab offers a fully open source community edition, which is the philosophy of Linux. GitLab can be self-hosted, giving a project's full control over their infrastructure. GitLab provides a complete DevOps platform, including CI, CD, issues tracking, and more. Some projects find GitLab handles large code bases more efficiently, and I don't know why. GitLab offers more detailed permission settings, which can be crucial for large complex projects. GitLab's development is often seen as more community-driven, which resonates with many open-source projects. So, these were some reasons that how GitHub manages its code base. And don't forget to subscribe to Pext.